Hey crew, Coach Jody here, and I've got Coach Maria with me today for our workout of the day coming at you. Today we're doing Tipsy Turby. You know how I love to challenge you on your balance and engaging your core and getting all things firing, so that's what we're going to hit today. You can do this absolutely anywhere, and we really don't need any equipment at all today, which is going to be great. So our workout is going to be one minute max efforts at each movement, and we're going to go through it four times. So our movements are bird dogs, windmills, and skater jumps, and I know you're all probably saying, I don't know what any of those are. Don't worry, we got you covered. We're gonna explain it all right now. So our bird dogs are awesome. We're gonna start on all four, so in a tabletop position. Coach Marie's gonna get down there for me. And we're gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg. The most important thing here, I want you to notice is how Coach Marie's back does not bend or change at all. She's engaging that muscle back here, the gluteus maximus. All my friends on Thursday will remember that muscle. And then she's gonna bring them back together. She's gonna go opposite arm, opposite leg, reaching her hand as far as the wall as she can, and her foot as far back. And then she's gonna bring it back. And she's going to keep alternating one and the other here. Super important, we want to keep our hips square. We don't want to be rocking back and forth on this one. So you're going to go for one minute here. Awesome. And then when we're done with our minute of the bird dog, we're going to go into our windmill. So for our windmills, we're going to start with our left hand straight up in the air. We're going to turn our toes to the right side of the room. And we're going to bring our right arm down inside our leg. I'm gonna look up at my left hand and I'm gonna bend my front knee as I bring my right hand down to the ground, still reaching up with that left hand as hard as I can, and I'm gonna stand on up. Bring my arm down, my right hand goes up, toes go to the left side of the room, left hand comes forward, look up at that hand, front knee bends as I come down to the ground, reach up, reach up, reach up, and stand. So we're gonna alternate sides for a minute of windmills. Super important guys that we're bracing that core as we're going down and we're using those muscles to help pull us back up. I also want to make sure that I'm squeezing my shoulders together as I'm coming down. Our last movement is our skater jump. So these are awesome for explosive movement. If you want to give yourself a target so you know that you're hitting the same distance every time, you can go ahead and grab those handy dandy soup cans that we've got going for all our workouts. We're going to load up our outside leg. So Maria's standing on her left leg here. She's gonna get into a slight bend and she's gonna open those hips and explode to land on her right leg. Notice how she lands with that soft knee, guys. We wanna make sure we've got a good bend to absorb the impact. She's gonna jump again across and she's gonna keep alternating. She can find some speed here, that's awesome. Really important is that she's staying stable through her midline. Everything is squeezed and she's got those glutes firing. So you go for a minute there and then back to the top. And we'll go through this four times, a minute at each station, try and get as many reps in as you can, but we're always looking for quality movement here. Make sure everything is staying tight. Remember our four T's, toes, tushies, tummies, traps. Make sure it's all going, guys. Get your scores on your bingo cards and send them to us so we know that you guys are staying fit at home. Have a great day, guys.